Hi, I'm uh, Llewellyn Tutton. Um, I live here on the Gold Coast. Um, I did the challenge back in, in November, finished the challenge in October of 17, um, when we realised that my left hand wasn't working. So I went to a neuro and he said I had nerve damage. What they did is they put me in a splint and I'm walking around with that for a month until I started getting headaches and then I fainted. I don't ever faint. So I went off to the hospital and they said, sorry, but you have a tumour the size of a golf ball in your head that is actually bleeding. So no time to think. They had me on the operating table the next morning. Then they decided to do a full body scan and they said, I hate to tell you this, but it's actually leaked. It has traveled all the way into your lungs. So now you have stage four and it has metastasized. Sorry to tell you, we only give you about 12 months to live. No, that was not a good feeling. My left side had, pre had completely gone from where they took the tumor out of my head. So I had physio twice a day and occupational therapy twice a day. And I was out of the hospital in six weeks. Now I just have a bit of a gammy hand, but that's going to get better. So I'm lying at home feeling yuck, you know, on the medication that they put me on because they decided to try me on this special immune therapy medication, which made you feel horrible. So I'm staying at home feeling terrible. Went back to the doctors for my blood test and he said, your white cell count has gone to, down the bottom. You, you might have to come back into hospital. I went, oh, I'm not going back. So I thought, what am I not doing? I haven't gone back to gym. And this was just before Easter of 18. So I went, okay, off your ass, go back to gym. I started very slowly on the treadmill and just the bikes and everything just to get my confidence back. And then when everybody realized what had happened to me, the, the spurring, the, the good, the strength everyone gave me to continue made me decide to come back to even more and more. So I decided, this is what I'm doing, this is great. I went back and had blood tests and the doctor said, your white cell count has bounced all the way up. He said, whatever you're doing, your body loves it. So my endorphins were kicking in. So I decided, I just decided to come back to gym, you know, minimum five days a week, enjoying everyone's company and everyone's backing. And I have now, with, all the, with, I had, with radiation, um, I'm off all the immune therapy drugs and within 12 months I've kicked it. All because of all this beautiful exercise and the training and, and having that positive feedback from everybody around me. Um, I have to thank EMF and all their staff, they've been absolutely wonderful. I've loved every minute of it. What a better way to celebrate being cancer free than to go into a challenge and, uh, and, be, and be part of the team and just have discipline, you know, that, that discipline is just wonderful, you know, you, you, instead of just waffling and doing what you normally do, this is like a set goal and you have to have a body shape change, um, so that's what I'm looking forward to. Going through the challenge means that you actually become part of a team um, and everybody will help you um, along the way, no one is pointing fingers. Every, no one does judgment, everyone's there just to help you and it gives you confidence and it gets you off your butt and it makes you feel a hell of a lot better. All those endorphins will just keep rolling and that that's, helps you to heal as well.